Alright guys, I'm going to show you all my method for making, taking a regular old picture like this and giving it that Christmas sweater knitted look. Now, this is the way I do it. I'm, I've seen a lot of people do using the patterns where they take a pattern, they drag it into shapes and all that. But I'm going to show you how I do this where you can just make it the way you're used to making an image and then just converting it so it looks like it's knitted. So I went ahead and just threw this together real quick. You can, this is just nothing but bars and some little web dings I got off the font. But what we're going to do is we're going to open a new, I don't even know what the hell you call it, a new window. We're going to make it 26 pixels by 26 pixels and go ahead and use the 300 resolution. And this is what we're going to use to make our knit pattern. So go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to take my pen tool. And we're going to make sure it's set to shape. We're going to do it black. You want to leave the background white. We're going to go up in the top left corner, make a point, and then come down here somewhere in the middle and click. And we're going to drag it out and around the edge. You want this to look kind of like a, a really skinny football when you're all done. We're going to alt and right click to get rid of this point, and then come back up here to the first point, click on that, and do the same thing. Try to make it even. And then we're going to go ahead and rasterize it. And you want to drag this to the middle just a little bit. You want one or two pixels between the edge of your shape and the edge of the pattern. You don't want it to be like this and touch because then when you do what I'm going to show you how to do it's going to be kind of goofy looking. It doesn't look knitted. So we're going to go ahead and do a little transform on this. Make it a little bit wider. About right there. And then we're going to duplicate this shape and go up to edit, transform, and flip horizontal. And then we're going to drag this over until they're meeting on the bottom, right about there. Now we're going to merge down so it's all one shape. And let's go ahead and transform it one more time. Make it a couple pixels wider. Something like that. I'm just giving me that extra set of black up here, but that'll be alright. I'm going to go ahead and go with that and we're going to center it up. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to get rid of a layer here. Let's see. You want it to be even on each side, so let's drag it in one more than center it. There we go. All right, now what we want to do, we want to keep our shape and you want the white background. You don't want a transparent background for this. And we're going to go up to Edit and you're going to hit Define Pattern. And let's just call it Christmas sweater. Alright, now we got our pattern made. So now I'm going to come back to this image that we've already got made. And you notice I got all these layers over here. What you want to do is hide your background layer. And you want to merge all your visible layers that you're using. Only the ones you're actually going to be using in your picture. If you got any extras, just leave them where you can't see them. Alright, now what we're going to do is take this clean layer. And we're actually going to fill it with white. Da, 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 da. Actually, it don't even matter. We ain't gonna do that. What we are gonna do is go to FX. Make sure you got the background layer highlighted. Go to FX and do Pattern Overlay. And then we're gonna select our pattern we just made. And you might have to scale it a little bit depending on the look you want. The, more you, the bigger it gets, it's gonna have a much thicker knit looking pattern. I'm going to go right there with it. So now we have this knit pattern in the background. Now what we want to do is hide our image layer. Make sure you got the bottom layer, your base layer highlighted. And we're going to zoom in a little bit. And now we're going to do select and color range. And click anywhere in the white. Now that leaves all the white selected and the black is left alone. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hide our base layer. My computer wants to cooperate. Hit control zero. That'll bring this back to center. And now click on your top layer that has your design. And once you make sure you got that selected, all you're going to do is hit delete. And that's going to delete all the white area and leave the black area. Now you can hit control D to deselect. And now you notice that all the print 
has a knit looking pattern to it. You can put in this black, turn off the overlay, and there you can really see it has the uh, knit looking pattern. You can do it smaller, like I said, when you do your background layer. When you do your pattern, you can scale it up or down, depending on how you want it to look, but that's the look it's going to have. So that's pretty much my technique. It just it seems to me like it makes it easier because you can do your whole design. You don't have to worry about making everything crazy with all these patterns and dragon patterns. I don't know. I'm probably too dumb to even do that. So this is my easy way to do it. If you like it, hey, knock yourself out. And good luck on your Christmas sales. Thank you guys for watching.